From the producers of Lloyd Hamilton and Lupino Lane comes their new Kickstarter project. Many years ago, when Hollywood was in its infancy, the Max Sennett Studios were making mayhem. Hello, I'm Dave Glass and I love silent comedy, especially stuff like this. Because these were the incredible visual eyeball ticklers that pulled me in when I was a little kid. Uh, and one of the faces of the 1920s comedies was Billy Bevan. Billy Bevan. No, Billy Bevan. Who's Billy Bevan? This is Billy Bevan. Through the 20s, Bevan was the busiest of the busy Senate comedians. Great. These are the types of scenes that I gobbled up in my youth. And the common denominator in all of these clips appeared to be Billy. I kept seeing him all the time, and it, it seemed to be his films that were featured on the various TV shows that I grew up with, and I'm sure you did as well. And it was Billy's bits in the Robert Youngson compilations that I was particularly hypnotised by. In fact, he was featured in more of the Youngson films than Chaplin, Langdon or Keaton. Wonderful Billy Bevan. Dashing Billy Bevan. Uh, no, it's, it's Billy Bevan. It's Billy Bevan. No, it's Bevan. Like Billy Bevan. We checked with his granddaughter. OK. Anyway, so once again, David Wyatt and I thought, right, let's go and find some nice, rare films from the bowels of the world's archives. So whose bowels shall we dive into? <laughs> Everybody get out of here! There's a lobster loose! <sighs> yes, we thought if anyone had some rare Billy Bevans, it would be Bromberg. So Serge sent us a list, and after we picked our eyeballs up off the floor, uh, we chose a, a couple of goodies to start with. Uh, Full-length versions of films that most of us have only ever seen clips of before, and here's one, muscle-bound music. Recognise these scenes? This was in one of the Youngson films. And good old lobster, they're letting us use their rare, complete 35mm dupe neg French print which we're going to be restoring and recreating the intertitles for with material from the Senate archives. And um, do you recognise this scene? This was used in a, a compilation or two. Louis Fazenda there is from a great early 20th Senate called The Quack Doctor. Another rarity from Serge, and there's more to come from Lobster and a Mo. But while we were chatting to Serge, he said he'd been talking to fellow Billy Bevan fan John Masalis, who turns out has a great big pile of Billy. Hmm. One particular film of his we're including, from the Burkow collection, is the complete and little seen film From Rags to Britches. Recognise this? this? This has been used in bits and pieces before, and it's directed by Chief Nutbag Del Lord, so you know it's going to be full of wild and wacky visuals. We're getting a 2K scan of this one. Thanks, John. And after that, we then peered into the vaults of the Library of Congress. <laughs> And as you can guess, they've got tons of Billy. But we thought, have they got a goodie that we've never seen before? And yes, they have. Even Brent Walker, author of the book on Max Sennett, says... I haven't seen it. So, you may have seen Wandering Willies. You may have seen Whispering Whiskers. Well now, hold on to your pants, because we've got Wandering Waistlines. And it's fab. OK, so we also thought it would be good to have a couple of examples of pre-Senate Billy Bevans, just to sort of, like, give an example of what he was doing before he joined them. And again, from the Library of Congress, we found the jolly rare LKO comedy called Bombs and Bandits. Billy plays the police chief. It's great. And another pre-Senate short uh, is coming to us with the courtesy of the lovely people at the... Film Museum in Amsterdam, they're lending us Somebody's Widow, which is a beautiful Billy Rhodes comedy which co-stars Mr. Bevan. Oh, and talking of I, uh, we couldn't resist their gorgeous 2K scan of their 35mm print of the extremely rare late Senate, Calling Hubby's Bluff, which again, Brent doesn't seem to think he's seen. It also features Vernon Dent and Dot Farley, and it's really funny. Uh, now, do you recognise these scenes? This is from a film called Lizzie's of the Field. Again, excerpted in all these Senate compilations. But it's only ever been around as a one-reeler. About ten minutes worth. Yeah? Well, I'd heard a rumour 
that the Eye Film Museum had the two-reel version hiding under Alif's desk. Is that right, Alif? Yes. Yeah, and after I told this to that French bloke Bromberg, he said... Le woohoo! Too. In fact, he got so excited, he's going to do a new scan of the iron nitrate print material and then combine it with his sparkling Blackhawk material to create the ultimate lobster restored complete version of Liz's of the Field for us to use. Ta-da! Fantastic. <laughs> ah, right. Anything else? Oh, yeah, there is. Serge and Eric are also going to be doing a special lobster restoration of... Nip and Tuck. Do you recognise these scenes? Yeah, Cameo, Harry Gribben. And they've got a 35mm safety fine grain from the camera negative from the Youngson collection. Mm -hmm. Which was scanned in 5K over in Burbank in Feb this year. (sighs) Hoo-ha! I feel like I've gone to heaven. This is a great film and, well, Billy Sean knew how to take a punch. Right, I think I need to have a lie down now. You can't do that, Um, Dave, there's more. More? Oh, a little bit more, yes. We've got a few succulent extras up our sleeves too. My YouTube channel that I've been running for a while now, Real Comedies, there's one particular video I uploaded there which has had more views than all of the other videos on my channel combined. Roughly. And what video is that, Dave? Well, Dave, it's the Billy Bevan rarity called On Patrol. Over one million views and counting. It's been used in so many compilations. And it seems to be a bit of a lost film because there's just these fragments available. None of the archives have got a copy of the whole thing. And, well, the version on YouTube, which is about one reel's worth that exists, was one of my early attempts at reconstructions, so I felt it was about time to do a bit of an upgrade. So here's an example. This, this is a before and after of the same scene, so we'll include the newly scanned and improved bits on this disc too, as well as the uh, the reconstruction that I also uploaded of the lost Wall Street Blues using newly scanned footage, which again includes some of the most iconic scenes produced by the Max Sennett Fun Factory. I mean, look at this. These are classic images. And if we can find room, we'll also include fragments of some of the other lost Billy Bevan films with iconic footage like this and this and maybe this. So, as you probably guessed, Brent Walk is involved Hello. and he's going to be doing the booklet notes for us. Thanks, Brent. We're also planning to have music by Meg Morley, Donald McKenzie, John Masalis, and Ethan Uslan. Mm. And we hope you'll agree this is going to be a Max Senate extravaganza you won't want to miss. Over three hours on a Blu ray of archive rarities. Woo! The Billy Bevan Blu ray. <laughs> wow. So, don't doze. Don't let it slip away. Don't hang around. And don't spend too long thinking about this. Please help us to kickstart this appeal. And hopefully it'll be a hit. Mmm, pledge today for the Billy Bevan Blu-ray. Is Billy Bevan. No, it's Bevan. <laughs> I think you get the point.